Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to episode 8 of modding. Now, I know this video was supposed to be uploaded yesterday, but when I was recording my episode, it didn't really come out good. I wasn't in the mood of recording because a lot of things were happening. I was, you know, talking to a lot of people, some stuff happened, but um anyways, guys, sorry for the, you know, late delays of uploading these modding tutorials. It's that I've been busy recently and, you know, a lot of things are coming up. But anyways, Let's go ahead and start off episode 8 of making an ore, may I say a gem generating around Minecraft so we can harvest our green item. So I'm going to add in this ore into our Minecraft game. If you guys want this download, links in description. Make sure that it is a 16 by 16 uh, you know, pixel little art sprite, whatever you can name it. But um, anyways, make sure it's 16 by 16 and here it is. You go ahead and get mine from my description. Once you have this, go ahead and drag it here to the desktop. And also I'm going to be supplying all the source because this one is a, let's say it's it's not an advanced tutorial, it's not a beginner tutorial, it's like right there in the middle. So what is this? What is this? Oh my gosh, uh, I don't know, I'm going to exit that off. Okay, so um, anyways, that was random. Um, let's go ahead and start off this tutorial adding in this ore. So go into your Eclipse and let me just double check if this is recording. Yes, I'm using a new uh, editor software so it's a bit more tricky. For me to understand if it's working or not anyways uh, go to your mod underscore uh, minecraft if you did call it minecraft and in the public class section where we add in all our uh, defining everything we have to add in the ore so go ahead and press enter enter uh, because episode 7 we add in a shovel so now you are gonna add in an ore so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and label this as an ore so I like to keep everything separate and you know organized with these detailed things uh, may I say side notes so uh, everything's organized okay so now you're going to go into my description and get the public block class. All right, so it is a download for you. It will come up as a web page and all you're going to do is just highlight that, right click and copy. So you're going to copy up that uh, public static final and just all you have to do is press control V and just paste that right in. It's very simple. So public static final block, since it is a block that we're adding in, it's going to be labeled as a block. It is not considered an item. So yeah. All right. So block name block. All right, so for the name, you know how I do in all my other tutorials, name equals the actual name of what we're going to name it. So I'm going to call mine green block. So public static final block green block equals a new block name. What you have to do here is call this name whatever you like. So I'm going to call mine uh, block green. All right, so you're going to have yourself an error. We're going to fix these errors later on. And then the next set of uh, numbers is this number right here cannot extend more than, let's say, I think it's 186. I'm not sure what the uh, max number is, but anyways, do not extend this over uh, a high amount. So if you have it in 2000, you're going to get yourself an error. It has to be in a terrain uh, ID. I'm not sure how I can explain that even you know easier than I'm trying to, but um, just make sure it's not really high. Let's go ahead and keep it default 100, 151. You could actually uh, make it 152. You could try that out, but what is this? I don't understand what's going on with this. Keep. Uh, let's just change. Oh, great. What's going on? Hopefully the tutorial's not messing up. Dang, my whole screen just changed. Okay, so make sure that it is 151. All right, so there we go. Now this zero, I really don't know what this zero means, but I always keep it zero. I think you have to leave it zero because that's probably uh, what you just have to do. I just don't understand what the zero does. But anyways, let's go ahead and explain what this is. Dot set hardness. This is how hard the block is. You could check how hard these blocks are by going here to the uh, you know the database of Minecraft and go here to block dot Java and see how uh, strong. Or may I say, how uh, hard are these items? So a deal, a steel door. You know, it's all backwards here. Door steel. So a door steel is a uh, 5F. Okay, so set hardness is 5F. We could change ours a bit stronger than a steel door, or we could actually have it really low. So I'm gonna keep mine 1F, so it'll mine really quick. And the resistance. This is probably uh, no. This is not probably. This is the resistance of the explosions. You know, all these TNT explosions and all that good stuff. How strong it is compared to other blocks and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that 7F. I could just change it 5F, which I'm just going to do 5F and dot set block name. This is what you could place whatever you like in here. As long as it doesn't really conflict with any other names that you have listed up in top, go ahead and change this to whatever you like. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to one, two, three, four block. Okay. You really doesn't really matter what you leave there, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave mine one, two, three, four block. Okay. So you'll have yourself an error right here in the middle of the whole class. 
uh, may I say the public static final you can have yourself an error right there just hover over that error and it's gonna say right here create class for the block gem or block green alright so you're just gonna click on that and then it's gonna say right here a new class and just press finish no need to change anything just go ahead and click finish and there we go so block green alright so now what you need to do is go into my description get the, get the second source of code which is block name go ahead and open that up and you're just gonna hide that code it is the second link go ahead and right click and copy and then go back to Eclipse and just paste that right in to your uh, block green or whatever you named it so I'm gonna go ahead and paste that right in and you're gonna have yourself some errors so public class this is really defining what type of class it is and let's go ahead and hover over that and it's gonna say rename to block green all you have to do is just rename this to the actual name of your class so you see up here block green you have to name this block green so it extends block okay protect block name we're gonna change that to block green very simple right you really don't have to mess with this protect uh, int may I say this is really just setting how hard the block is uh, and comparing it with other blocks but anyways let's go here to public int ID drop this is what material will drop or decay from the actual block so uh, if you harvest it you will receive yourself an item okay so return mod underscore name so what we're gonna do here it's very simple and it's gonna be an item okay so go to your mod underscore minecraft and whatever you named your item here your gem uh, this is the name that we're gonna place inside this block class so mod underscore minecraft okay and we're gonna put dot green gem so let's go back here replace all this okay and call it mod underscore minecraft dot and it should already give you a list of items and you could just choose what items you like uh, if you put this then that means uh, if you harvest a block you're just gonna receive the block that you're actually harvesting it yeah and then you have to smelt it and all that stuff I'm gonna cover smelting very soon but let's go ahead and make that uh, harvest into a green gem so there we go so dot shifted index if it's a block then you have to change it to block uh, to dot block ID okay so shifted index is an item block dot block ID is a block it's very confusing to say but uh, yeah so this is the quantity and how much is gonna be dropped once you mine it once so let's go ahead and change that to five so when you harvest this you will receive five of my green gems and the set version doesn't really matter you just need this uh, inside uh, the string version but just go ahead and change this to whatever you like and once you have set that let's go back to our mod underscore minecraft and then we have to define what the uh, green block is so go into my description and you're gonna get another set of source okay this is the public load we have to load what the block is using mod loader so go ahead and highlight that code right click copy go into Eclipse and go here to public void load and this is where you're gonna define everything and I've already set it up here no that's gem okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go up here and spell uh, or green I'm just gonna leave that as a side note just to make sure where everything's located at and I'm just gonna press control V to paste that right in so model order dot register block and this is the name of the block uh, you go up here so mine is called green block you have to rename this to green block since you are registering that block it has to be considered green block so there we go then you have to do the same exact thing over here on the name block and call it green block okay and do the same exact thing right here until you remove all those errors and there we go so now let's go ahead and mess around with the add name so model loader dot add name for the green block will be uh, let's go ahead and replace this in game name and change it to green so green aura in the game while you're holding the item it's gonna be called green ore so this is the in-game name that's what's gonna uh, be received while you're holding the item and we're gonna be messing with the texture path and all that stuff the picture path in a bit what we need to do is actually add in the actual uh, random generator uh, for the ore to be spawning around our world so then you have to go into my description once again and this is the last time and you're gonna get the generate ore okay so go ahead and get that it's gonna be a public void so we're just gonna copy all this it's gonna be the fourth link in my description go ahead and copy that go into Eclipse and you're just gonna make sure that you don't paste it inside this public void load make sure you don't paste it in there it has to be in this public class uh, section okay so uh, it's not considered a mod loader thing it's really uh, a public class so it's really a public static uh, final so go ahead and paste that in it's actually a public void sorry about that so just go ahead and paste that inside here and make sure it's not inside the public void load and once you have paste that right underneath your public static let's go ahead and change this up 
So name block, you should see down here, there's an error. You have to change this name block to the actual uh, name. So let's call this green block. So this is what's going to be generating around the world at random, random X, Y, and Z. Now, if you have yourself a whole set of errors, this is because we didn't really uh, set up or fix the uh, variable. So the way to do that is to go here at the very top. Okay. So random generator, you're just going to space that out and just put out random. So that's basically it. So random, random generator equals random. It's very strange, but uh, apparently it does. It seems to be working. So just put that variable up there at the very top. And for integer i and all that good stuff, this is the actual uh, generation. May I say generator for the uh, orb. So 40 blocks at y. Now, if you guys don't know what x, y, and z is, it's actual the coordinates. You know, when you press F3 of Minecraft, you'll see how high things are. So I believe you could have this all the way up to 65. I'm not sure if that's the limit, but um, let's go ahead and leave that at 40. Or actually, let's go ahead and leave that at 60. Yeah, I'm going to leave that at 60. And these are how far away the blocks are from each other. So um, do you want your ore at least 20 blocks uh, far away from each other? So 20 by 20 at random. So you could have it like that, or you could have them really close to each other. And you could actually set this like 10 and 10, so your blocks will be spawning very close to each other. Or you could actually, I'm not sure if you could have it one by one, but you'll probably get yourself an error if you have it one by one. But let's go ahead and keep that at 60, 10, and 10. And over here, new world material. So this is where we have replaced the name, block, and the dot block ID. Like I said, blocks have to be dot block ID. It cannot be dot shifted index. Over here, you'll see that there's a little four. What you're going to do with that four is how much do you think of your ore should be generating uh, together? So do you think four of your ore should be together? You could have it where it only generates one ore, but I believe if you have it at one, it'll probably spawn another one. So there'll be two in one. I'm not sure how to explain that, but you could have it all the way up to 10. So you could have 10 of your ores spawn all at once in one area. So if you want 10 ores, that's amazing. That's cool. You could probably have like that. So once you have set all this, um, that's basically it. So hopefully there's no errors, no nothing. I'm probably going to fix this. So, uh, if you come out with an error right here, uh, just go ahead and put random. That's, that's the best way to fix that. If you just put random, so random, yeah, that should be able to fix that. So we're going to be looking for our gem right now, but before we do that, we have to set the image path, which we haven't done yet. So if we come down to or, you know, where we have placed our mod loader at, we have to set the in-game texture. So pick dot, so pick dot PNG. We have to rename this the same name as our gem. So mine is capital G gem. Okay. Let's go back to Eclipse and rename this pick to capital G gem. There we go. Now let's go ahead and place that into our items folder. You guys should all be familiar on how to, you know, just place this inside our items folder. Uh, you go here to modding, then you're going to go here to bin, then you're going to go to Minecraft, and then items. We have already set up an items folder. If you are new to this, go ahead and check out my uh, extra uh, episodes. Go ahead, check that out. Uh, go ahead and right-click that gems, copy, and just paste that within your items folder. And there you go. So there's gems. Now we have to do this one more time and place it into our Eclipse. So go into Eclipse, client, and then bin, and items. Now let's go ahead and paste that one more time. There we go. And it should be able to work. We have set up the gem, and now it should be generating along Minecraft. But the thing is, you have to find your gem. It's going to be a while. I'm not sure how. It de really depends on what you put up here. So if you have this all the way down to bedrock, which should be one or let's say five, you, it's going to be impossible to find your ore. So it's best to keep it really high if you're really confident. Confident, you could have it very low. But if you want to uh, test this out for your first time, I recommend to keep it very high. So let's go ahead and press play and it should be able to work. And let's press play, press OK. And let's go to single player, go to uh, new world. And sorry if I'm lagging, I'm not sure how this recording will be or how it works. Hopefully the video is actually recording because I don't want to do this again. I remember one time I was recording an episode and it didn't really record and my voice was cut off and I couldn't hear myself. So I was really mad. You know how mad I was? I was pretty mad. Even pork chop too. He was really mad. Okay, so we're gonna look around for our ore, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find it. So it's gonna be really, really challenging. But I want to show you guys my ore before I leave. Oh wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I doing? I forgot to do something. Don't go into a world that's already generated. Go ahead and create a new world, and for the ores to obviously generate in your world, uh, you have to create a new world. God, such a fail today, huh? Okay, so. 
I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this video for me to be able to look for this and find my green gem somewhere. And there we have it so after a while um, after a while of finding it so I went to this ravine I recommend you guys to go look for some ravines let me go ahead and change my video settings because it's really laggy because it eclipsed but anyways if you find yourself a ravine that's the best way to find your ore my ore is located down here at the very lowest I'm not sure why it generated way down here let me go ahead and press F3 to see exactly where I'm at I'm at 19 at Y at 19 do you see that it's generating a little bit off, but overall, it I found it, but um, I'm not sure why it's generating down here. Is it because it's at random? Maybe that's the issue, but uh, anyways, here it is, and I'm not sure how many of these ores are located here. It should be at least 10, but I'm finding 3. What's up with that? Maybe something, something doesn't seem to be right here, but it did generate. That's the good part. That's the good part. I'll find out what the error is because I found my green gem. And here it is. I wish I could change myself to survival to harvest this to receive five of my green items. There is my uh, gem, and it looks amazing and beautiful. And I'm not sure if I could find any more around here. Uh, I'm sure that um, there should be a lot more. It's that I'm in this ravine, and I can't really do any, you know, really find anything. I wish I had x-ray, but, you know, you can't really install that while you're modding. Okay, guys, so that's basically it. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy this modding tutorial my modding tutorials and if you guys want to know more modding tutorials go ahead and leave a like give me some some suggestions and i will get back to you the next tutorial i promise will be armor okay so you guys always asking for armor tutorial don't worry i'm eventually gonna upload them just give me some time you know i've been busy but uh thank you guys for all your support liking and all that good stuff uh it's been a pleasure showing you guys how to mod Ooh, look at this okay so i'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later thank you hopefully this is recorded